The countdown reminds me of my days at Radiohead, the local radio station. It sounded over the city sound systems. The live shows were mind-blowing. When PJ Harvey performed, the whole city shook, and with Tame Impala, it fell to the ground, leaving nothing but shadows. I left on the Sigur Ross, where I found a briefcase with a name on it. Mr. Brian Wilson. All the clues led me to Beirut. I didn't find him, but one day in a beach house I met her. It was Richard Hawley's house. A John Carpenter film was flickering on the screen. We were drawn to each other like animals and our bodies intertwined, producing explosions in the sky, which set us free as floating points, minute weightless particles suspended in the air. She seemed a moderate type of girl. Her skin was as smooth as suede, but she was wild, like a Vince Staples song. For me, she was pure venom. We were on a chairlift going towards a volcano. Our love vanished like the dinosaurs, and I went crazy and exploded like the lyrics of Action Bronson. I was sinking, pulled along by the currents of the Hudson. Twisted in an emotional melody in the style of Julia Holter, I wandered around the world as if I were mad, with no direction, driving like Jihu. Until one day, a deer looked me straight in the eye. At that moment, everything became clear. I still have a lot to live for.